So we're staying at the Residence Inn by Marriott and for the price it's really good. It's located at 455 Hibiscus Street, West Palm Beach and if you're looking for somewhere that is central, this is the place for you. Alright guys, so we are at the hotel and what do you want to say about the hotel so far? It's good, it's good. Okay, I like how it looks so far. As soon as you walk in, it smells clean, it smells fresh. So, alright, so we'll hit you back up when we're at the room. Alright, guys, so we're in the hotel room, and I like it so far. It is, I would say, so far, a 10 out of 10. I like how it looks. It's, everything kind of smells brand new as well. So, what do you give the rooms? That's good. Okay. So, <clears throat> we'll show you around and uh, we might be going back on the road and get some dinner or something to eat and then we'll hit you guys back up. But otherwise, enjoy the video. Not only that, I like the fact that this hotel is clean, it's also located downtown. So, I like the fact that it's also um, walking distance to like Norton Museum of Art, the square, and if you wanted something to eat, there's Ruth Chris Steakhouse, Duffy Sports Grill, and if you're into nature, there's also South Cove National Area Boardwalk. So those are the fun places you can go to, but I'm sure there's plenty more places to uh, explore. Good morning, guys. Oh. Good morning, guys. So it's the next day in the hotel. <clears throat> I'm gonna go downstairs to get some breakfast, a complimentary breakfast, and then we're gonna plan out the rest of our day. So we are gonna go and check out. So what time is it? It is 10.55, so we have five minutes to go and check out. And we'll hit you guys back up in the car. And we already decided on a few places to go, so. Now we were going to go to the square but there was no parking and we didn't have time to look for additional parking so yeah. Now this part is definitely for all my nature lovers. Um, this garden is so amazing. It's so beautiful, it's relaxing. I would definitely say it's so a place for you to either come and read a book or even come on a date. Just walking around this garden is just so relaxing.
also forgot to mention that it is free to enter. So this is definitely a place to go. Alright guys, so we're at the Sculpture Garden. I'm just doing a little bit of a tour around and showing around the different plants and the beautiful scenery in here. And this is a Sculpture and Botanical Garden. So just walk around and see what we can find. So we just finished with the garden. And we're gonna get something to eat. Apparently, I, there's a place that I don't know of. Oh yeah, we're gonna. I know the place, but you just put it in your GPS and go. Yeah. So if we have battery life, because our battery is dying. So if we have battery life, we'll video that. If not, we'll see you guys on the next vlog. So I just know that we're eating. Our belly is getting full. <laughs> Her belly is getting full. Challenge. And babe, you know, I got something to tell you. You have to be. Oh, me can't do that. No, me can't do that. No. And babe, you That's know, I got something no. to say to you. Imagine the words that they had there. Me and babe, I have something to say to you. Can't wait to hear. B, if you say, oh. and A, and babe, I got something to tell you. Babe, what, what's that? Can you imagine what happened yesterday? Don't recall. Yeah, man. See, it's not good for you. <laughs> So we're finally we're here. We're finally at Lake Okeechobee, but it's one of the largest lakes in Florida. As far as I know. As far as I know, I don't know. Maybe we don't, can just tell try us to figure it out and put it down below. Yeah, but <laughs> if we're wrong, just also you can put it in the comment section. But, that we're um, wrong, but we think it's uh, one of the largest lakes, so it's pretty large. But let's show you guys how it looks for those who don't know how it looks. Like I am very impressed about this lake to be honest. Oh, geez, it's, not, that it's not like I'm um I've never been to a lake. Yes, mama, I'm okay. But yeah, it's not like it's uh, it's not our first time coming to a lake. But, but this lake this, this lake, lake is It's what, not one you just drive past and just see yeah. regularly. You have because it's but, so but, big. But to be honest though, this lake is massive. Like I can't even see the end of it. But um it's it's amazing. I would say this is a good, even a good fishing spot to be honest, but I wouldn't recommend eating the fish here because of um, the algae that are in this water that's, that I've been hearing about because back then it was really bad. But I am very impressed about it. And if you are in, into nature, this is definitely the place. definitely come back here just to see the lake it's to me it's beautiful and look at the sun you can't really see it because of the camera but you know I think this is probably even a good sunset spot you know but um 
we're gonna but yeah but we're gonna head on the road yeah we're gonna yeah. head back on the road because we have another like two, hours. two hours to drive to go so, back home uh, we'll see you guys when we get back home and yeah when we get back home we'll talk to you guys